Welcome to part two of dimension of vector spaces. So let's uh, remember that the um, definition of rank is uh, something that's based on the row reduction of the matrix. And that uh, we're saying here is that the dimension of the column space of the matrix A and the dimension of the null space of this matrix A, that um, both of these dimensions add up to the number of columns the matrix has. So we're assuming that A is a matrix that has n columns, and n is exactly equal to the sum of the rank added to the so-called nullity of the matrix. And so sometimes this theorem is also referred to as the rank nullity theorem, it's a theorem that relates the dimensionality of uh, both uh, of these spaces, both of these vector spaces, column space and the null space. And so <clears throat> we were discussing an example uh, in which um, this matrix um, is easy to row reduce because um, this matrix has only one row and uh, this matrix is such that it's exactly equal to its RREF. That already is an entry there, but we can always make, so long as that entry is non-zero, we can always create a one there, and there is nothing else to do here. Uh, this is an example of a matrix of rank one. So here uh, we would call this a rank one matrix. matrix a matrix whose rank is equal to one, the dimension of the column space is one, and the dimension of the null space uh, is two. So it turns out that rank one matrices don't necessarily have to have one row, uh, but we use this to motivate. Uh, we create now a matrix that has two rows, still has the same number of columns, and it's easy to see that this uh, matrix row reduces to a matrix that has one row of zeros. Um, the RREF calculation here is not as easy as in the previous, um, the previous page, but you can see that what's going on here is that, yeah, indeed this matrix has two rows, but there's one row that is a multiple of the other row, and that's what produces that row of zeros. So in this case, the rank uh, of this matrix is still the same, right? So this is the rank, this is the dimensionality or the dimension of the column space, and this here is still the dimension of the null space of this matrix, right? So this rank, this matrix is still rank one, and it has nullity equal to two. Um, <clears throat> but matrices, with, and so this is a point we want to drive here, that matrices uh, uh, matrices that have rank 1 are going to be uh, of a special interest because um, they are such that uh, they can be understood as every row in that matrix being a multiple of the same row. Um, and in fact, those are matrices that could be expressed as the multiplication of two things here. This is a two by one matrix multiplied by a one by three matrix. And as a matrix multiplication, as matrix multiplication goes or is concerned, this is completely legal. Uh, if you want to look at this visually, right, so we have a column multiplying a row and uh, this product uh, give, gives rise to a rectangular array of numbers. Um, so this product is actually something that's called outer product, okay? And um, you may think of um, another type of product we had uh, spoken about, we learned about before, called inner product. Well, this is called outer product, in which you can multiply a column times a row, and that gives rise uh, you're multiplying things that are dimension one, a column vector and a row vector, each of them has dimension one, but uh, as matrix multiplication, due to the rules of matrix multiplication, they produce or yield a two-dimensional object, which is a rectangular array of uh, number. 
So we elaborate a little farther with our example. So now we consider this matrix that has four rows um, and we can easily determine that uh, this matrix has uh, three, the RREF of this matrix or this matrix row reduces to a matrix that has three rows of zeros. Uh, still the rank of this matrix is, is one. And so what we want to establish here is that every rank one matrix can be expressed as the product uh, as the product of a column vector uh, multiplied by a row vector okay so um, this is to make this illustrate this point even uh, a little bit farther and so um, last but certainly not least uh, we uh, make some updates to this uh, theorem of equivalences for non-singular matrices. Uh, we want to mention the rank of a non-singular matrix. The rank of a non-singular matrix is exactly equal to the number of columns. If the matrix is non-singular, then its rank uh, is exactly equal to the number of columns. Sometimes this is also referred as full rank. Okay, Unlike the rank 1 matrices, uh, full rank would mean that is full in terms of uh, being equal to the number of columns and then the nullity being that the nullity is always given by number of columns minus the rank uh, in such case we would have n minus n because the rank is n so the nullity would be zero in other words the dimension of the null space for a non-singular matrix is zero and the dimension of the column space for a non-singular matrix is equal to the number of columns.